Hey guys, this is a quick walkthrough of how to connect LiveAmp to the target to begin tuning. For this demonstration, we are connecting a Windows 10 laptop to a Jacinto 6 development board running QNX Car. Now, your system may be set up somewhat differently than the one we're showing, so always a good idea to check in with your system's integrator to see what other considerations need to be made before connecting. LiveAmp communicates with the head unit via TCP IP over Ethernet. Um, I already have my Ethernet cable connected from the laptop to the head unit. So the first thing we need to do then is discover the IP address of the head unit. Um, you might be connecting to a target that doesn't have a nice touch screen like this one. Uh, and if that's the case, you might need to find the IP address using a command line. Again, check in with your integrator. They should be able to walk you through that process. But uh, we have um, a touch screen here. So I go to my settings app. Um, I find active network and it will tell me the IP address, which I see is 192.168.1.100. So what we need to do is set up the computer to be on the same network uh, ID as that. So we wanna open up our control panel and in control panel, network and internet, network and sharing center, change adapter settings. And here we go to ethernet properties and internet protocol version four. Use the following IP address. So we want to put in the first three octets of the IP address from the head unit, which in this case were 192.168.1. And then the last value, we want to make something different than, than the head unit. So the head unit was 100, we'll use 101. Press tab. The subnet mask is 255.255.255. That's great. Uh, OK. OK. Close. And close everything down. So it's always a good idea just to double check that the your settings have stuck. So let's open up a command prompt. And let's just type in ipconfig. And we should get here in Ethernet adapter, Ethernet um, IPv4 address, 192.168.1.101. That's exactly the one that we want. Um, so it has worked great. Now we can go to LiveAmp. Um, so here is the, the splash screen um, in, in LiveAmp. And we want to create a target. So this is going to represent the head unit that we're connecting to. Um, the label, this is a friendly name. You can put anything here. Uh, I'm just going to put in J6QNXCar. And the IP address is the IP address that we discovered from our head unit before, 192.168.1.100. Uh, port and QCon port, we're not going to worry about for right now. Um, typically, these never have to be changed. Uh, in certain cases, um, they, they might have to be changed. This is another question for your systems integrator, but I know that they're, they're totally fine for our purposes, and they probably will be for yours as well. Um, target type, I know that my system uh, here is a Lola ACS system. If you have QNX AMP, this is going to be a Lola ACS system. If you're running um, a Linux uh, target and you have, uh, you don't have QNX AMP, then you might need to use one of these RCS uh, options to connect. But I know that mine is Lola, so I will keep it as is. Um, and then we're, we're set up to, to connect. One thing I'd like to do first is to just hit the ping button and see if we have um, a communication set up. And, and here it shows that we're successful. So we are talking to the target over TCP IP. That's great. And let's try to connect. And we have connected. So one more thing, if after you've created your target, you find that you're able to ping the target successfully, but you can't connect, uh, you get an error message. Something like the one seen here, error in ACC wrapper when trying to initiate connection to ACS. This is typically an indication that ACS is not running currently on the target. So what you should do is open up a terminal window, uh, PuTTY or other, and put in the IP address of your target. Uh, here I have all the same uh, default settings, port 22, SSH, uh, and the IP address from the target. I go open. 
I log in, and all I'm going to type is AFM underscore CTL space dash A space L I N K. And you see using link starting AFM. And that should start ACS for us, and we should be able to connect now. And now we've made it to the big picture, so we know that we are successfully connected to the target.